welcome back to the final episode of our special series in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. I am your host, Marie-Jo César, a holistic financial wellness strategist dedicated to helping you take control of your money from the inside out while addressing both the emotional and practical sides of finance. This week is significant as we dedicated three episodes instead of our usual one to underscore the critical importance of mental health in today's world. Today, we will discuss leveraging theology for mental health well-being. We will highlight useful mental health apps, explore positive online communities and support groups, and discuss emerging technologies that can help with mental health and wellness. Throughout this series, we have been dedicating our episode to stress in the digital age, aligning with this year's Mental Health Awareness Month theme, Learn, Act, Advocate. This episode is the last one of our three-part series, Closing Off the Month, and it is designed to provide you with practical tools and insights to support your mental health in the digital age. Welcome to the Merging Life and Money Show. Today, we will address the following key points. First, we will highlight useful mental health apps for meditation, stress management, and therapy, and discuss how these apps can provide on-the-go support for your mental health. Next, we will explore the positive side of digital connectivity through supportive online communities. We will share resources for finding online support groups and discuss the importance of virtual connections, especially during isolation. We understand that these connections can significantly improve your mental well-being and make you feel less alone. Lastly, we will look into the role of AI and machine learning in mental health, the use of virtual reality for therapy and relaxation, and how wearable technology can aid in mental health monitoring. Now, let's address the first point of today's episode, mental health apps and resources. We will highlight some of the best apps available designed to support your mental well-being on the go. Mental health apps are more than just tools. They are personal guides for managing stress, anxiety, and other challenges. In our fast-paced world, having mental health support available anytime, anywhere is invaluable. These apps offer a range of services from meditation and stress management to therapy sessions with licensed professionals. They cater to various needs, providing personalized activities and exercises based on your progress and your preference. This customization ensures relevant and effective support. During high stress moments, features like mood trackers, crisis helpline, and instant messaging with therapists provide immediate relief and prevent issues from escalating. Beyond immediate support, these apps offer educational content through articles, videos, and interactive modules, empowering you to better understand and manage your mental health. Many apps include community features, connecting you with other, others facing similar challenges. This pair support can be incredibly uplifting, reducing feelings of isolation. Finally, mental health apps can be a cost-effective alternative to traditional therapy. While some require a subscription, many offer free basic services, making mental health support accessible to everyone. Let's explore some of today's most popular and effective mental health apps, each offering unique features for different needs. We will look at Headspace. We will also look at Calm and BetterHelp. Headspace is user-friendly and perfect for beginners. It offers guided meditation, sleep aids, and mindfulness exercises, making it great 
for those seeking a consistent meditation practice. Calm focuses on relaxation and sleep, providing meditation, soothing sounds, and bedtime stories to help you unwind. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist for online counseling sessions, ideal for those seeking professional help without visiting a therapist in person. Notable apps include Talkspace, similar to BetterHelp. It offers online therapy sessions with licensed therapists and includes psychiatry services for medication management. Sanvelo, S-A-N-V-E-L-L-O, focuses on managing stress, anxiety, and depression with mood tracking, guided journey, and community support. MoodFit is another app with tools for mood tracking, gratitude journaling, and cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT exercises. Let's quickly compare these apps to help you choose the right one for your needs. Headspace, best for structured mindfulness and meditation routines. Calm, ideal for sleep and relaxation with a mix of meditation and relaxation tools. Better help. Perfect for those seeking professional therapy and personalized counseling. Now, let's share some users' testimonials. One user shared how Headspace helped manage daily stress and improve focus. Another found better help, invaluable for coping with anxiety through regular therapy sessions. Calm users often praise its sleep stories and relaxing soundscapes for enhancing sleep quality. I will end this point by saying that these apps provide a range of tools and resources tailored to different needs and preferences. You can find the app that best supports your mental well-being by exploring its options. Make sure to check the show notes for the links to the apps that I spoke of a few moments ago. While mental health apps offer great support, Technology provides even more ways to enhance our well-being. The digital world connects us to communities and support groups, greatly benefiting our mental health. Now let's shift our focus to the power of online communities and support groups where digital connectivity can foster a sense of belonging, provide peer support, and create a virtual network of encouragement the second point of today's episode. Well, you know, we live in an interconnected world and online communities have become a cornerstone of support and connection, especially for mental health challenges. The digital age has enabled us to transcend geographical boundaries, bringing together individuals who share similar experiences and struggles, fostering a sense of belonging, and mutual support. Online communities offer a unique space to connect with others who understand your experiences, reducing feeling of isolation and loneliness. These platforms allow members to share their stories, give advice and provide emotional support, creating a safe and nurturing environment. The power of these communities lies in their members shared experiences, knowing others have faced similar challenges and found ways to cope can be incredibly reassuring. This shared understanding fosters empathy and creates bonds that transcend financial distance. Online communities are also valuable for exchanging information and resources. Members share recommendations for books, articles, and tools that have helped them manage their mental health, providing a wealth of collective knowledge. Unlike in-person support groups, online communities are accessible 24 seven. This means support is always available, whether you are facing a crisis in the middle of the night or need to talk during a break at work. These communities offer continuous comfort and reassurance whenever you need it. Let's explore some great online communities for mental support. Reddit. Reddit has several mental health subreddits, such as 
mental health, anxiety, and depression. These communities are places where people share their journeys, seek advice, and support each other. There are many mental health groups on Facebook, such as Anxiety and Depression Support Group and Mental Health Awareness and Support. These groups are moderated to ensure a safe and respectful environment. Seven Cups. Seven Cups connects individuals with trained listeners for anonymous emotional support. It also has community forums where users with similar experiences can interact and support each other. The Mighty. The Mighty is a digital health community where people share personal stories and connect with others facing similar health challenges. It has sections dedicated to various mental health conditions, offering a supportive environment. Health Unlocked is a social network for health-related topics. It has many mental health communities where users share experiences, ask questions, and receive advice from others who understand their situation. Nani. NAMI, or National Alliance on Mental Illness, offers online support groups and forums for individuals with mental illness and their families. These well-moderated communities provide valuable resources and information. These online communities offer support, foster a sense of belonging, and provide valuable resources around the clock. By joining these communities, you can find comfort and strength in knowing you are not alone in your mental health journey. Having explored the positive impact on online communities in offering support and fostering a sense of belonging, it is essential to know how to find the supportive spaces. Finding the right online support group or forum can be a game changer for your mental health journey. These platforms offer a sense of community provide valuable resources, and foster a supportive environment. Here are some tips and resources to help you find reputable online support groups and forums. Before joining any group, it is essential to do some research. Look for well-moderated groups with clear guidelines to ensure a safe and respectful environment. Reading reviews and testimonials from other members can also give insights into the group's vibe and effectiveness. Support groups with mental health professionals can be especially helpful. They provide expert guidance and ensure accurate information is shared within the group. Make sure the platform respects your privacy and confidentiality. Look for groups with strict privacy policies that do not require you to share personal information unless you are comfortable doing so. Join groups with active participation from members. An active group usually means a vibrant community where you will likely receive timely responses and support. Finding the right online community can significantly impact your mental health journey. I have prepared a list of platforms like Reddit, Facebook groups, and specific mental health websites that you can find in the show notes or the episode description. Virtual connections are vital, especially during times of isolation. They play an important role in supporting mental health and fostering a sense of community. Virtual connections have become super important these days, especially with all the physical isolation we might face due to things like pandemics, remote work, or personal health issues. These connections are very important for keeping our mental health in check. Think of virtual connections as a lifeline. You don't have to feel emotionally or socially isolated, even if you are physically alone. Online communities and support groups allow you to connect with others, share your experiences, and receive emotional support. These interactions can really help ease feeling of loneliness and create a sense of community and belonging. 
One of the best things about virtual connections is the emotional support you can give and you can receive. Talking to someone who truly understands your situation can bring a lot of relief and encouragement. This interaction helps build a support system that can uplift and motivate you, especially during tough times. Another great thing is the accessibility. Online support groups and forums are available anytime, anywhere, as long as you've got Wi-Fi. This is a big deal for people with mobility issues, those living in remote areas, or a or <clears throat> sorry, or anyone with a busy schedule. You can seek help without worrying about time or location constraints. For many, discussing mental health issues in person can be really daunting. Online platforms offer anonymity, making it easier to open up and share feelings. This anonymity can make people feel more comfortable seeking help and joining discussions. Let me share the stories of three people who found incredible support and friendships through online communities to show just how virtual connection can be. First, there's Gilda, a young professional dealing with anxiety. She joined an online anxiety support group and found a whole new world of understanding and friendship. I used to feel so alone, she said, but now I have a group of friends who truly get me. We support each other, celebrate small victories, and offer advice during tough times. It's made a huge difference in my life. Then we have Mark, who lives in a remote area and struggles with depression. He felt isolated until he discovered a mental health forum. Connecting with others online gave me a sense of belonging that I was missing. I, the support I received was incredible. I even made a few friends I talked to regularly. It's been a lifeline for me, he explained. Finally, there's Georgia, a single mom dealing with postpartum dep- depression. She found comfort in a Facebook group for new mothers. The group was a safe space to express my feelings without judgment. Other mothers shared their stories and tips, which helped me navigate my challenges. The friendships I made in that group have been a tremendous source of strength and support, she shared. These stories highlight how online communities and support groups provide emotional support, a sense of belonging, and friendship. They show that meaningful relationships can thrive even without physical presence, significantly contributing to mental well-being. By embracing virtual connections, you can ensure you are never alone, no matter the circumstances, gaining the support, understanding, and companionship you need to navigate the challenges of isolation and mental health struggles. As you've seen, the power of digital connectivity through online communities can significantly impact mental health by providing support, fostering a sense of belonging, and forming lasting friendships. However, the benefits of technology in mental health do not stop there. Innovations in the tech world are continually shaping how we understand, diagnose, and treat mental health conditions. Let's move on to the third and final point of today's episode and turn our attention to the exciting frontier of emerging technologies in mental health. From artificial intelligence to virtual reality, these advancements are transforming the mental health landscape, offering new hopes and tools for well-being. Artificial intelligence, or AI, and machine learning, or ML, are transforming mental health by enhancing diagnosis, improving treatment accuracy, and offering personalized options. These technologies analyze vast amount of data quickly, spotting patterns in behavior, speech, and psychological responses that might be missed by humans. This can lead to earlier and more accurate diagnosis, allowing for timely intervention. 
AI can also create personalized treatment plans by analyzing medical history, genetic information, and treatment outcomes to predict what will work best for each individual. This reduces the um, trial and error approach often associated with mental health treatments. Another benefit is real-time monitoring and support. Wearable devices and apps track heart rate, sleep, and activity levels, and AI analyzes this data to detect signs of anxiety, stress, or depression. Immediate feedback or interventions help individuals manage their symptoms more effectively. So here are some examples of AI-driven mental health tools. W-O-E-B-O-T, an AI chatbot using cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT techniques, it helps manage emotional and develop healthier thought patterns. It checks in regularly, track mood, tracks mood, and offers evidence-based strategies for stress, anxiety, and depression. Can you believe this? CAS AI, C-A-S-S AI, is another AI chatbot offering mental health support in multiple languages used in schools, workplaces, and healthcare settings to provide accessible support. MindStrong analyzes smartphone usage patterns to detect changes in cognitive function and mental health, allowing for proactive intervention and continuous monitoring. Ginger combines AI with human expertise to provide on-demand mental health support from coaches, therapists, and psychiatrists. AI-driven tools personalize care and track progress. In summary, AI and machine learning are making mental health care more accessible, more efficient and effective by enhancing diagnosis accuracy, personalizing treatment, and providing real-life support. So tools like Weeble, Cas AI, MindStrong, and Ginger exemplify these advancements, which will continue to evolve and improve mental well-being. Let's talk about the exciting impact of virtual reality, or VR, on mental health. VR offers immersive experiences for therapy and relaxation, providing unique ways to address mental issues. Virtual reality therapy uses VR environments to, to simulate real-world scenarios. It's great for exposure therapy, which helps treat anxiety disorders, PTSD, and phobias. For example, someone afraid of heights can safely face virtual heights. This repeated exposure helps reduce fear over time. VR is also used to promote relaxation and mindfulness. It transports users to calming places like serene beaches or peaceful forest. This immersive setting reduce stress and enhance mindfulness, offering a break from the immediate surroundings and traditional relaxation techniques. In some way, VR is transforming mental health care by providing innovative ways to confront fears and promote relaxation, making it a valuable tool for mental well-being. While doing my research for this episode, I discovered so much about emerging technologies in mental health. Folks, we are living in an incredible and fascinating era. Now, let's review some VR-based mental health applications and their benefits. Limbics, L-I-M-B-I-X, offers a VR platform for mental health professionals providing exposure therapy and other interventions it includes various virtual environments to help patients face their fears and anxieties safely, promoting relaxation and mindfulness. SUSE, 
PSIOUS is another VR platform for treating anxiety, PTSD, and other mental health conditions. It offers virtual environments for exposure therapy, relaxation, and mindfulness with real-time biofeedback to enhance tr treatment effectively. Behavior, B-E-H-A, V focuses on stress management and mental health programs, combining virtual reality with evidence-based techniques. Engaging interactive programs helps users manage stress, anxiety, and other issues, making the learning experience more tripped to your IPP, emotional well-being, through immersive experiences. It offers guided meditations, breathing exercises, and stunning visuals to help users relax and focus. Users report feeling more relaxed, more focused, and emotionally balanced. Well, I will say that virtual reality is opening new frontiers in mental health by providing innovative ways to deliver therapy and promote relaxation. Applications like limbics and SUS and behavior and trip demonstrate the potential of VR to enhance traditional therapeutic methods and offer immersive experiences that support mental well-being. As virtual reality technology continues to evolve, its role in mental health treatment is likely to expand, offering even more opportunities to improve mental health outcomes. As virtual reality continues to provide immersive therapeutic experiences, wearable technology is also making a big impact on mental health. Devices like smartwatches and fitness trackers offer new ways to monitor and manage well-being with real-time data. Wearables continuously monitor signals like heart rate, sleep patterns, activity levels, and stress responses. This data gives a comprehensive picture of your physical state closely linked to mental health. A key benefit of wearables is real-time feedback. If they detect high rates or stress, they can prompt you to take immediate action, like deep breathing or a short break. This helps manage stress and anxiety more effectively. Wearable also collect data over time, identifying patterns and trends. This insight helps you understand how behaviors, environment, and lifestyle choices impact mental health. For example, tracking sleep quality can reveal its correlation with mood and stress, helping you make better decisions about your sleep and overall wellness. Let's talk about how physical health tracking support mental well-being. There's a strong li a link between physical activity and mental health. Regular exercise reduces symptoms of depression and anxiety, improves moods, and boosts overall well-being. Wearable devices encourage staying active by setting goals, tracking progress, and providing reminders, indirectly supporting better mental health. Quality sleep is essential for mental health. Poor sleep can worsen anxiety and depression. Wearable devices track sleep patterns, offering insight into sleep duration, quality, and disturbances. This helps users identify issues and improve their sleep, leading to better mental health outcomes. Wearable with stress tracking features, Monitor indicators like heart rate, variability, and skin conductance. Yes, skin conductance response shows how skin reacts when we feel strong emotions or pay attention to something like being scared or really focused on something. They provide real-time alerts when stress levels are high, prompting users to engage in stress-reducing activities like mindfulness exercises, deep breathing, or physical activity, enhancing mental well-being. Here are some examples 
or variable technology for mental health. Apple Watches support mental health with heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking, and the Breathe app for deep breathing exercises. Fit tracks physical activity, sleep patterns, and heart rate variability. The app offers insight into health and wellness, stress management tools, and guided relaxation sessions. The newest thing is the Aura Ring, O-U-R-A Ring. It focuses on comprehensive health monitoring, including sleep, activity, and ready and readiness scores. It's detailed sleep analysis and recovery metrics help users optimize routines for better mental health. The Aura app provides personalized insights and recommendations as well. I am sure you will agree that using these devices daily can help you actively manage your mental health and enhance your overall quality of life. Well, I can tell you, it's a lot of people wearing those devices. Hopefully, they are taking advantage of all the features that they offer. As we wrap up today's episode, let's recap the key points and our theme of Learn, Act, and Advocate. Today, we explored how technology can boost mental health. We highlighted great mental health apps for meditation, stress management, and therapy, such as Headspace, Calm, and Better Help. We discussed the positive impact of online communities and shared resources for finding supportive groups, emphasizing virtual connections, especially during isolation. We covered how AI and machine learning can help diagnose and treat mental health issues and how virtual reality and wearable tech can aid in therapy and monitoring. We've seen how technology can enhance mental well-being, fitting perfectly with Mental Health Awareness Month theme, Learn, Act, Advocate. We learn about various technologies that support mental health. We shared strategies to integrate these technologies into our daily lives. We discussed promoting these technologies to raise mental health awareness and support others. Helen Keller said, alone we can do so little. Together we can do so much. So by embracing and promoting these tech advancements, we can make a big impact on mental health. I encourage you to explore the apps, support groups, and technologies we we discussed. Share your experiences and success stories on social media using our designated hashtag, which is hashtag wellness. In today's world, where cancel culture can make us feel isolated, fearful, and judged, Prioritizing mental health is more important than ever. The pressures of public scrutiny and maintaining personal well-being can be overwhelming. It is important to see mental health as a personal journey and a collective responsibility to foster understanding, empathy, and resilience every day, not just in May. I invite you to visit my website, maryjocita.com to download free resources designed to help you manage and improve your mental health. These tools offer practical support and guidance to navigate modern life challenges and maintain your well-being in some time and forgiving digitally. These tools offer practical support and guidance to navigate modern life's challenges and maintain your well-being in a sometimes and forgiving digital landscape. Your mental health matters. And taking proactive steps to care for it is a powerful act of self-love and resilience. Thank you for joining the conversation and being part of our series on stress in the digital age. Your commitment to mental health awareness and your well-being journey 
are truly commendable. For more resources or to get in touch, please visit our website or follow us on social media. I am your host, Marie-Jo César, reminding you to take care and stay mindful. I will be back next week, and it will be June. Until then, continue merging life and money. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.